for the fourth task we are to define this hash password function in odd.py and it's going to take one argument which is pass password and it's going to hash it and return it in bytes So we are going to be using bqt for hashing first thing for us to do is to define the hash password function and this hash password function is going to be taking a parameter which is a password which is a string and it's going to return bytes then next is we are going to first encode the password to utf8 and then save it to a variable called encoded password next is to generate a sort for hashing the password the sort will be coming from bcrypt and we are going to save it to a variable called sort and then finally we are going to hash the encoded password using bcrypt and then we are going to pass in the encoded password and the sort and we save it to a variable called hashed password and finally we return the hashed password in bytes of course let's let's hash let's hash this let's hash the a password called password using the hash password function and we do the spectrum all that by and is we are expecting okay yes the password in bytes for fifth task in all dot by we are to create we are to import db Plus and create a register user method that will take email and password and then we are going to use the email to check if user already exists so I define user by method in the DB class and if the user exists we are to raise a value error with this message and we should use the hash password function to hash the password and then save it to the database so i've already imported the result from from circular Kami, imported db imported user now we are going to first define the register user method which will take three parameters self email and passwords which are strings and it's going to return uh, the new user created before we can register any user by email we used to ensure that the user does not already exist in the database table so we are going to use the try catch block try on excel block and we are going to use the find user by of the db class and we pass in the email to see if the user already exists if the user is exist it means we cannot register new user and we raise this value error followed by this message if the user does not exist and we know this find user by is going to throw an, S, an error so we are going to use an except to catch the the exception and once we catch this exception we don't have to do nothing because we need to continue with registration and we just pass then next we are going to use the hash password function that we just created and tax four and then we are going to hash the password 
and semitas hash pwd and then we are going to use the add user method of the db class to add the user to the database table we're passing the email and then followed by the password that has been hashed but we need to remember that this hashed password function we return the hash password in bytes but the user model is expecting the hash password to be a string so we have to decode the result of this hash password function and you know decode it um decode it to utf8 that way it's going to be a string yes and then after that we are going to save the user to the database by calling serve that underscore db then finally we return the new user yes yes just one so here we have email and password and instance of auth class and we are using the register user method to try to register an email and the password and then again we are trying to use the register user method to register the same email using the same password so we are expecting this first one to be successful and this second one to throw an error okay fingers crossed so we see that the first one was successful and you try to do it again with the same email and we got the error for the sys task we have to create a basic flask cap with a get method and a single root that's going to return this JSON payload of the form and then we should add the following code to the end of the module so we already imported um, flask from flask and json the file and now we've created the app and next is to create the root which is for home and followed by the function home function which is going to we are is going to be returning a response this response is from flask we are still going to import it and this is going to be the payload and uh, we pass it to JSONify. and uh, we import the response How do, how do we run this thing again? Let's see. <laughs> okay. Mm. Yeah okay so yeah yeah my windows firewall is up allow access okay now let's um try to access this route let me open 
another terminal here and I'll use call okay we are getting the right payload 